we were discussing the strategic process and as we discussed that it is a nine steps process we are now discussing the fourth step that is identify the key factors for success in business key factors are the factors which determine a company's ability to compete successfully in an industry and what are these factors experience in the industry sufficient startup capital tight cost control accurate sales forecasting proper inventory control meticulous cash management choosing locations which maximize customer convenience cleanliness high quality of product friendly and attentive service from well trained staff consistency in quality and service over time you know these are a few very important factors which you must have in order to have an edge over other competing firms in the market step number 5 talks about the competition it says analyze the competition the primary goals of a competitive intelligence program include the following conducting continuous analysis of competition that means you have to keep yourself busy with looking at the competitors uh, products and quality and service avoid surprises from existing competitors new strategies and tactics for example your competitor changes strategies or he comes up or she comes up with new strategies or new tactics or new technology so you should not be surprised by it rather you must be ready to meet the challenges then identifying potential new competitors you know it is also important to know that who are new entrants in the market so you must keep yourself capable and ready to see the new uh, entrants or new competitors and you deal with them improving reaction time to competitors action it is also very important that you must give sufficient reaction time to yourself and you must improve your action plan so that if the competitor changes a strategy you should be ready in advance to deal with the strategies which are ex- expected to come anticipating rivals next strategic moves a strategic management process further talks about create company goals and objectives goals are broad long range attribute which a business seeks to accomplish the trend to be general and sometimes abstract objectives are more specific targets of performance commonly addressing areas such as profitability productivity growth and other key aspects of business well written objectives have following characteristics they are specific they are measurable they are action committed that means in order to like set your own goals and your objective you should be very specific about writing your objectives you and these objectives must be measurable that means you quantify them and whenever there is a need you can give them certain points certain figures for example 5 marks or 10 marks or something and you must be action committed for these objectives then we say that there are clearly written down they these objectives should be clearly written down step number 7 is formulate strategic options and select the appropriate strategy A strategy is basically a road map of the actions an entrepreneur draws up to fulfill the company's mission vision and 
goals and objectives. So you must select your strategies which suit you best. When we talk about the strategic management process, we once again talk about the Michael Porter, Harvard uh, business graduate and a lecturer in Harvard Business School. He says that there are three types of strategies which one must keep in mind while making a strategic management process. First is cost leadership strategy. That means a strategy in which a company strives to be on, at a lower cost producer relative to its competitors in the industry. You always come up with better options if your cost of production is lower. Then you have a more or a bigger margin of profit in, a, in your sales. Secondly, it is differentiation strategy. A strategy in which a company seeks to build customers' loyalty by positioning its goods or services in a unique or different fashion. So if your products are unique, it is different from other competitors, then obviously you'll have an advantage and you'll be ahead of others. Focus a strategy, a strategy in which a company selects one or more market segments, identifies customers' special needs, wants and interests, and approaches them with a good or a service designed to excel in meeting those needs, wants, or interests. So one must be focused on it. Chris Anderson, in his book, The Long Tail, writes that there are three drivers create the long tail of the market. The tools of produ production are more affordable. That is, software and hardware are now available at very reasonable prices and easier to use. So if you have such tools of production, then you have, of course, an advantage over your competitor. The internet has created better access to the niche market. Internet aggregators can pull together all the products consumer may possibly want. You know, through internet nowadays, a lot of work is being done. And these search engines give you, oh, like, what do you say? An edge on others who are maybe weak at using internet. Search tools make it easier to reach a specific consumer. Search engines and recommendations available through websites and social media drive consumers to specific products and services on the internet that meet their particular needs. Then the eighth step is translate your strategic plans into action plans. That means executing the strategy. Implementing a strategy successfully requires both the process that fits company culture and the right people committed to making that process work. To make their strategy plan workable, entrepreneurs should do the following five projects. You know, in order to execute your uh, strategies, as an entrepreneur, you must keep in mind these five very important points. Purpose, what is the project designed to accomplish? You must know the purpose. You must know that what you are up to, what you want to accomplish. Then we talk about the scope, which areas of company will be involved in the product. That means what is the scope of this project and which areas of the company, for example, will we be doing it through marketing team or it is the production team or the finance, who will be involved in this project? Contribution, how does the project relate to other projects and overall strategic plans? You must keep in mind that 
how you are going to relate this project to other projects which may be available in the market or which are run by yourself maybe as an entrepreneur and what is your overall strategic plan for this when we say resource requirement that means what human and finance resources are needed to successfully complete the project so project is to be done through human resources and financial resources and the entrepreneur must be very careful he must clearly understand the requirement of human resources and financial resources in order to make this project successful then timing for all the projects is important that is which schedule and deadlines will ensure project completion because if you do not clearly maintain the time frame or timeline or don't have the targets or deadlines available you will not be able to complete your project in a good or specific time so that you gain profit out of it ninth step is regarding the established accurate control controlling the strategy controlling plans and projects and keeping them on schedule means that an entrepreneur must identify and track key performance indicator these kpis play a very important part because if you don't have these kpis the key performance indicators you may not be able to control your cost similarly you may not be able to control the time or deadline so in order to have a control on a strategy you must keep a identify and track key performance indicators that how you will judge the performance of the people who are working for you how you will judge the performance of your capital that how good or bad you are utilizing your capital and investment now we talk about the balanced score cards in order to judge the effectiveness of their strategies many companies are developing balanced score cards balanced score card is a set of multi dimensional measurements that are unique to a company and that incorporate both financial and operational measures to give managers a quick but comprehensive picture of the company's performance so in order to find or check the company performance a manager can always look at the balance score card which will tell him or her about the company's uniqueness in the product it will also tell about the company's financial position where the company stands what is the capacity where we were supposed to be so the targeted plans or targeted things along with the operational things like the production problems or the management problems all these things are to be done or they are taken into consideration by using balanced score cards while discussing by balanced score cards there are five points which an entrepreneur should keep in mind when we say customers perspective generally customers judge a company by four standards time quality performance and service that means the customer judge a company that how much like they are timely doing their things number 2 what is the quality of the product they are providing number 3 about the performance that are these people performing well they meet their commitments and services means that how good they are in providing the services that is maybe they are giving some special services like online services like door to door uh, delivery or pick up system these things are important when we talk about the customer perspective 
internal business perspective means that the internal factors on which the managers must focus are customer satisfaction, retention, and on companies' effectiveness and efficiency. So if your customer is satisfied and you retain a customer on a longer run, that means the company is working effectively and the efficiency of the cost, uh, company is judged through the cost, lower cost and higher benefit analysis. Innovation and learning perspective, a company's ability to innovate, learn and improve, it determines future. For example, when your company is changing or innovating new things or products, it means that your people are learning through it and they are in a position to improve the quality of the product or improve the time of delivery or improve the system, it will pay in the longer run, that is in future. These goals and measures emphasize the importance of continuous improvement in customer satisfaction and internal operations. Now we talk about financial perspectives. Financial perspective means that these measures focus on the factor as profitability, growth, and shareholder values. On balance scorecards, companies often break their financial goals into three categories. Survival, success, and growth. Survival means that you just have to survive in order to survive. In the market, you must have a basic financial support and then after the survival you go forward and you make a successful business and then ultimately you turn into an expanding your business and once you expand your business your growth targets are then been spelled out by the company seniors and then we talk about the last point in the balance uh, scorecards, that is corporate citizenship. How well are we meeting our social responsibility? Even a small company must recognize that they are good business citizens. It is very important that while you are in the business, what you are doing for your community, what you are doing for your overall society. So what are your social responsibility? how ethically and morally you are meeting your responsibilities, how you are disposing of your responsibilities, and how you become good business citizens.